Today, Austin City Council took the first step in keeping its Marshall and Yard shelter open indefinitely until it can find a new space to shelter those experiencing homelessness. The Marshall and Yard shelter is here near the airport in Southeast Austin. If the term Marshall and Yard seems like an unusual name for a homeless shelter, it's because this building wasn't originally designed to be a shelter. It used to be a place to gather trucks and supplies offsite for convention center trade shows. In 2022, Three, the city converted part of the 70,000 square foot warehouse into a temporary shelter for homeless people. It can serve up to 300 people at a time. KXAN's Grace Reader breaks down what happens next. Thursday, Austin City Council members directed the Homeless Strategy Office to find funding to keep the city's Marshalling Yard homeless shelter open until they can find a new permanent space. The Marshalling Yard is kind of a tough topic because we're talking about extending what is ultimately a pretty expensive and temporary uh, solution to a very permanent and complicated problem. That's Chris Baker, the founder of the Other Ones Foundation. He frankly doesn't love how the marshalling yard shelter is set up, but says at this point, keeping it open is life or death. There's no easier way to tell that somebody's like far away from the actual work if they think you can just turn off a shelter. If we have to return people to the streets, we're sentencing them to death and suffering because that's what's happening out there. The city of Austin's homeless strategy officer says that's not going to happen. But ultimately, if the marshalling yard did close in March, which was the previously set date, it will mean fewer people get help. Without this resource, it limits our ability to pull people in off the street. It limits our ability to respond to those 311 calls and other calls for service and support. And frankly, we've had to stop intake at many of our other shelters across the city in anticipation of having to relocate our Marshall and Yard clients into those other shelter beds. So now the Homeless Strategy Office is sitting down with financial staff to find the money to keep the Marshalling Yard open without taking away from other homelessness services and looking at city-owned property or other spaces to open a new shelter. But given Austin's real estate market and the permitting process and the planning process, you know, all that work takes time. Uh, and so our timeline right now is still to be determined. Grace Reader, KXAN News. According to the Homeless Strategy Officer, the marshalling yard has so far served more than 1,000 people, and of those, nearly 200 have found permanent supportive housing. There's still roughly 300 people inside the shelter right now. The Ending Community Homelessness Coalition, also known as ECHO, is recruiting for its next Austin Travis County biannual point in time count. It's looking for 1,200 volunteers to help identify the number of people experiencing homelessness. Volunteers will also pass out care kits containing socks, hygiene items, snacks, and other essentials.